Welcome to Top 100 Most Famous Poems of English Literature. Positions from 100 to 90. Number 100. I like to see it lap the miles. By Emily Dickinson. I like to see it lap the miles, and lick the valleys up, and stop to feed itself at tanks, and then prodigious step. Around a pile of mountains, and supercilious, peer in shanties by the sides of roads, and then a quarry pair. To fit its sides, and crawl between, complaining all the while in horrid, hooting stanza, then chase itself downhill. And a like Boanerges, then punctual as a star, stop, docile and omnipotent, at its own stable door. Number 99. Simplicity How Happy Is The Little Stone by Emily Dickinson. How happy is the little stone that rambles in the road alone, and doesn't care about careers, and exigencies never fears. Whose coat of elemental brown a passing universe put on, and independent as the sun, associates or glows alone, fulfilling absolute decree and casual simplicity. Number 98. A Dream by Edgar Allan Poe. In visions of the dark night I have dreamed of joy departed, but a waking dream of life and light hath left me broken-hearted. Ah! What is not a dream by day to him whose eyes are cast on things around him with a ray turned back upon the past? That holy dream, that holy dream, while all the world were chiding, hath cheered me as a lovely beam a lonely spirit guiding. What though that light throw storm and night so trembled from afar? What could there be more purely bright in truth's day star? Number 97. Casabianca. By Felicia Hemans. The boy stood on the burning deck, whence all but him had fled, the flame that lit the battle's wreck shone round him or the dead. Yet beautiful and bright he stood, as born to rule the storm, a creature of heroic blood, a proud though childlike form. The flames rolled on, he would not go without his father's word, that father, faint in death below, his voice no longer heard. He called aloud, Say, father, say if yet my task is done. He knew not that the chieftain lay unconscious of his son. Speak, father. Once again he cried, If I may yet be gone. And but the booming shots replied, and fast the flames rolled on. Upon his brow he felt their breath, and in his waving hair, and looked from that lone post of death in still, yet brave despair. And shouted but once more aloud, My father, must I stay? While o'er him fast, through sail and shroud, the wreathing fires made way. They wrapped the ship in splendor wild, they caught the flag on high, and streamed above the gallant childlike banners in the sky. Then came a burst of thunder sound, the boy, where was he? Ask of the winds that far around with fragments strew the sea, with mast, and helm, and pen and fair, that well had borne their part, but the noblest thing that perished there was that young, faithful heart. Number 96. The Eagle, by Alfred Lord Tennyson. He clasps the crag with crooked hands, close to the sun in lonely lands, ringed with the azure world, he stands. The wrinkled sea beneath him crawls, he watches from his mountain walls, and like a thunderbolt he falls. Number 95. The Arrow and the Song. By Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. I shot an arrow into the air, fell to earth, I knew not where, for, so swiftly it flew, the sight could not follow it in its flight. I breathed a song into the air, it fell to earth, I knew not where, for who has sight so keen and strong, that it can follow the flight of song? Long, long afterward, in an oak I found the arrow, still unbroke, and the song, from beginning to end, I found again in the heart of a friend. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us. Thank you. Number 94. In Memoriam A. H. H. By Alfred Lord Tennyson. Ring out wild bells, to the wild sky, the flying cloud, the frosty light, the year is dying in the night, ring out, wild bells, and let him die. Ring out the old, ring in the new, ring, happy bells, across the snow, the year is going, let him go, ring out the false, ring in the true. Ring out the grief that saps the mind for those that here we see no more, ring out the feud of rich and poor, ring in redress to all mankind. Ring out a slowly dying cause, and ancient forms of party strife, ring in the nobler modes of life, with sweeter manners, purer laws. Ring out the want, the care, the sin, the faithless coldness of the times, ring out, ring out my mournful rhymes but ring the fuller minstrel in. Ring out false pride in place and blood, the civic slander and the spite, ring in the love of truth and right, ring in the common love of good. Ring out old shapes of foul disease, ring out the narrowing lust of gold, 
ring out the thousand wars of old, ring in the thousand years of peace. Ring in the valiant man and free, the larger heart, the kindlier hand, ring out the darkness of the land, ring in the Christ that is to be. Number 93. If I can stop one heart from breaking. By Emily Dickinson. If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life the aching, or cool one pain, or help one fainting robin unto his nest again, I shall not live in vain. Number 92. There is no frigate like a book. By Emily Dickinson. There is no frigate like a book to take us lands away, nor any coursers like a page of prancing poetry. This traverse may the poorest take without oppressive toll. How frugal is the chariot that bears a human soul. Number 91. The Night Has a Thousand Eyes. By Francis William Bordillon. The night has a thousand eyes, and in the day but one, yet the light of the bright world dies with the dying sun. The mind has a thousand eyes, and the heart but one, yet the light of a whole life dies when love is done. This was part one, with the positions from 100 to 91, of our top 100, best poems of English literature. The second part with positions from 90 to 81 will be posted soon. If you liked our selection, and want to develop your intellectual skills, or just to relax, please subscribe to our channel, youtube.com, at AI Readers, and follow us, to listen quality poems written by the most famous poets of English literature and read by the most advanced artificial intelligence software. Thank you.